Great. Okay, back in February, we decided the, the Board of Commissioners, the ESD6, decided that they wanted to go ahead and do a, uh, a remodel job here at this uh, forest volunteer fire department. The station has been needing a training room and a, uh, uh, facilities and, and a kitchen and some offices here, not only for an occasional ECESD6 commissioner meeting, but uh, actually a meeting and training room for, uh, for the firemen here at Farston. This, uh, this thing was, uh, this office and all was actually completed uh, here about a month ago and uh, uh, the, uh, the, the department has actually uh, uh, gained some members and which was always a good thing. And uh, we've got several, have, we do have several in training uh, uh, situation going on here as far as meetings is concerned. Firefighters are tickled pink about the whole situation. It gives them it gives them a place to be able to come in. Uh, the uh, the the barn actually uh, the station did have just uh, facilities for the fire trucks and for the brush trucks here. Uh, and it really uh, during the summertime there was no air conditioning during the, and during the uh, winter time we do have heaters. Uh, in the building, but there was no lit up training room, nothing for the guys to be able to hang in. But now with this addition on, they, they could actually come in here. Uh, there is, it is our AC, it does have heat here. So they'll be able to, uh, to come in and, uh, and have their training or just their typical meetings that they normally have. We do have uh, a couple of items that we need to finish up on uh, as far as getting uh, uh, a television, some type of training video going on here. That's why we've got some of the blanks the, uh, here in the wall, you know, some of the, some of those uh, for the uh, uh, training aids. For the full version of the story, pick up a copy of the Waxhatchee Daily Light or read it online at waxhatchetx.com. This has been Andrew Branko reporting.